Alright, so now it has Overwhelm and Lifesteal. So they can't just block and do Ancient Hourglass stuff. Ugh, Quicksand. They can do Quicksand. For one round. But it's permanent life steal. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios Nasus for our first of three meme tier decks for today. This is a viewer submitted deck list uh, that looks pretty interesting that was um, admittedly, they said it was built before the recent nerfs to Merciless Hunter and Ruin Runner, but I think it should still work out okay because um, the health on those two units are maybe not the most important thing for our deck. But what we're doing here is we are combining Aphelios with the Moon Weapons with Nasus. And the reason to do that is because usually Nasus gets pretty big because you slay stuff. It's, you know, it can turn turns into a, you know, 6-6, six, 7-7, six, seven, seven, eight, 8 right? It keeps growing, 9-9, nine, 10-10. Nine, ten, ten. It gets pretty big. But it's very easy to, to just block, especially now that it doesn't, the level 1 Nasus doesn't have the Fearsome. However, if you combine that with Moon Weapons, the Moon Weapons will be able to give Nasus Overwhelm with Infernum. Or if you're behind, you can give it Lifesteal with Severum. So Severum and Infernum are going to be two very important... Um, moon weapons for us now that those only last one round and you don't really kill your opponent in just one round we want that to last longer so we're going to be playing out of the way so that those all those buffs are permanent so therefore you can get permanent lifesteal permanent overwhelm to different stuff that also means that like when we play solari sunforger it will have permanent lifesteal after the out of the way um so that's pretty cool just like throwing in and out of the way in here for the buffs on the on the moon weapons for the most part so pretty cool little thing there. Um, and then since we want Nasus to be even bigger, we got two copies of Destiny's Call. And this Destiny's Call is basically just for Nasus to uh, be able to make Nasus huge. Or uh, in a pinch, we can use it on a Ruin Runner, you know, with that overwhelming spell shield also. But yeah, so we're going to have Destiny's Call with Nasus and then give Nasus Overwhelm with the Moon Weapon. And that's going to be what our deck's about. So yeah. Um, Cool little meme tier deck here. You know, something definitely a lot different from normal. So let's go ahead and try it out. We'll just play our five games in normal. Uh, you know, this isn't a deck that's designed for ranking up or anything like that. It's designed for having some fun, doing something cool, and that's making huge overwhelm lifesteal Nessus. Okay, so you can go for sure. And I think I'm going to mulligan the Nasus as well. We should be able to get some extra cards. Let's just keep our our 1 and our 3. Aphelios is a champion that we want pretty much right away. Okay, so they have the team around 1. Which is not my favorite, but that's how it is. Okay, so my plan immediately was to go Waking Sands and then Aphelios right afterwards. But now that we have the Merciless Hunter, it's maybe just better to Merciless Hunter this Teemo. Yeah. Definitely really hoping they didn't have Puff Cat Peddler. We're going to Mystic Shot on the 2 1. Okay, so that was just the worst possible thing that we could see <laughs> Puff Cat Peddler and Mystic Shot together. That's not good. I would like to play the out of the way so that Sunforger has permanent lifesteal. I can't, like, you know, I do want Calibrum. 
for the peddler, but we can't really do anything about that right now. Let's play this out of the way. Wow. Those are the like the two worst cards for us to see for them pranking. Okay, well, you know. Why would they not put that on the peddler and then hit me for five more damage? What are they doing? They could have just made the peddler elusive. No, it's not about them seeing the Waking Sands, it's about that Waking Sands being necessary for enabling Nightfall and that kind of stuff. This Timo Caitlyn deck's one of the best decks, and it's no shame in our little meme tier deck losing this matchup when they have a hand like this. Wow. I guess not, they surrendered. I guess 5 power permanent lifesteal. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I was like, well, we're definitely losing, and they concede. Zareth Azir, we could maybe have some more time. Could we keep Destiny's Call on Nasus? We could play Destiny's Call on round five with th the three spell mana, and then Nasus on round six. Yeah, they should be pretty slow. Mono Sharima? Probably. And they probably don't really have any good removal. For a 10 10 Nasus. Ooh, they got their Sun Disc on round one. That's pretty lucky. Okay, now I wasn't expecting to, to draw Nasus Nasus like the other two, of course. If I out of the way, then next round we have four mana. I could only spend four plus the one. I could only spend two mana, so I couldn't Merciless Hunter and then also Destiny's Call. There's just nothing else to do. I don't think I should pass and just completely waste all the mana. Because if I pass, they should pass as well. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Man, we drew really poorly after our, our opening keep. Draw Nasus, Nasus, Hush, Hush, the out of the way. This was drawing very poorly. Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. So they're attacking for... Um, three, five, six, eight, actually nine. Yeah, you get Sun Disk early every time. That doesn't mean they're not lucky. <laughs> All right. I'll pass. Why couldn't you have been in my hand? I could have Destiny's called you. I will not see Shurima bow to a tyrant. No, you will see it rise with its emperor. All unmeasured. Out of my way. Calls. 
That'd be them attacking for seven. Like that. They're willing just to pass? I guess I kind of have, have to take the pass, don't I? I think I'm going to take the pass. So, 11 mana? This is 6, 10? Okay, so it should work out. These dogs are distracting me. <laughs> assuming, assuming they can't kill Nasus. Alright, so now it has Overwhelm and Lifesteal. So they can't just block and do Ancient Hourglass stuff. Ugh, Quicksand. They can do Quicksand. For one round. But it's permanent Lifesteal. They can throw it at the end of attacking. Alright, well, Siphoning Strike, the Xerath. No, let's Daybreak. Let's make sure we get this Daybreak lifesteal. I grabbed another... Yeah, I guess that's gonna happen. I grabbed another uh, plus two, plus one Overwhelm to be able to give the Sunforger Overwhelm also, so they can't block and get rid of the blocker with the Sunforger either. Yeah, I think they, they forgot about that thing. How about that? Alright, level up Nasus. With Lifesteal and Overwhelm. And Fearsome. And Spell Shield. I mean, it's just Victor. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. This is pretty crazy. We've only slayed, like... I guess we've slayed four things now. I was going to say, we like hardly slayed anything. I think we just attack. Yeah. <laughs> we can just attack. Alright, so there we go. That's, that's what our deck's about. That, that's what it can do. That was pretty cool. Out of the way. And then Destiny's Call. Draven Scion. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. They don't play any, like, removal for really large uh, units, so if we do have the ability to get, you know, like, Destiny's Call Nasus again with Lifesteal, <laughs> you know, we can do all that. Um, okay, Bastion can protect Aphelios. We're getting rid of the Ride of Calling. We're keeping Treasure Seeker Aphelios. Like, those are definite keeps. The Bastion can protect against... Uh, get excited. So I kind of want to keep it, but it's it's an expensive way to protect. No, I'll send it back. I kind of want to keep it. Gently, gently. The Sky Shadows look weird in here. What they are for, mostly, is... Um, which I guess I could play. I, mean, I guess I could just play this, because I get the two mana anyway. So it's just free to play it. It's for... Um, whenever we use the Moon Weapon with Crescendum, getting the two-cost follower, it's a really nice two-cost follower to grab. This Heavens Aligned helps us enable the Nightfall to play Aphelios. 
And I think those are like probably the two that I want. I probably want Crescendum and Calibrum. Calibrum gets us a Slay. Crescendum gets us another body. I think right now we don't really need Lifesteal or Overwhelm. And so I'm grabbing the Crescendum first so that we can... Crescendum first, then Calibrum. I think they're doing an extra point of damage right there. I am with you. No, maybe not. Awesome. Resubbing for the second month. Thank, thank you so much. They have been watching for some time. About time I sub. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that second month in there. Thank you, Osser. Using your Twitch Prime sub. So I would have been able to Treasure Seeker plus Calibrum. I was kind of expecting them to play the Twin Blade Revenant, but they did not play the Twin Blade Revenant. So instead. I don't, they may have like the three two blocker. Oh, just survival skills. Now we're cooking. Got an axe with your name on it. <laughs> Can y'all hear Harvey barking? He's barking right now. Not. Um, I guess stun. I don't know. Severum does heal. Would heal the Aphelios too. Stun Moon weapon's great to have against Scion, of course. If you have Hush for Scion, let's maybe grab Severum. Then we'll grab Stun. Stun allows me to also play towards Calibrum again, or Crescendum again. That's the correct one. Let me actually just hush here. We got it first. Sorry. Draven. So we're not looking too bad. If only Rune Runner still had four health, you know, I could play it in Pill Cascade. Maybe I do, actually, maybe I do have to use this. I don't know, they just play a 3 1. I can't Pill Cascade anymore. Yeah, and chat says it's done here. Cyclone has, Is Nasus stacking when he is in the deck? He. Yeah. Yep. He always just checks, like. Just whenever you play Nasus, it just always has plus one plus one for how many you have slain in the game. Before that, yeah, that's kind of the, that's the problem. They just have all the different three ones in their deck. Boom, boom, boom! This thing. <clears throat> yeah, Ruin Runner having three health instead of four was a big deal in this game. Oh, but they no, because they can't challenge and have Scion. They can't have both. Okay, they just have more of those things. Interesting.
We need an Asus or an Aphelios. All right, so Aphelios is good. So we're going to uh, three, six, I have 11 mana. Not the kind of mana I was hoping for. What if I just make a Aphelios in 11, 11? Yeah, Nasus can be infinitely large. Yeah, that's true. Alright, now we won't do it. We need to play a Moon Weapon here and level up the Aphelios. If I play the Destiny Skull, we don't get to a Moon Weapon. I can almost kill them. Because I go plus two, plus one, overwhelm. So this is seven, overwhelm. Yes. I'll probably need to grab Crescendum. Get the extra mana. I wish we had the Overwhelm. I want these to trade, of course, because that, that does give us a Slay for Nasus. Hey, Zach. Oh man. We found a Nasus. Don't get to Destiny's Call the Nasus, though. So if they have Get Excited, maybe just go Waking Sands. So Waking Sands plus Hush plus Bastion to protect the Waking Sands in case of Get Excited. Is that all better than just playing a Nasus? No, because we have... Because I have to go Nasus then and Hush. Then I only have two mana left. So I do not have enough for Bastion to protect Nasus from getting killed. Nasus is too vulnerable. Looking good, looking good. So our first game without out of the way. So the buffs from the moon weapons aren't permanent. Moonlight has illuminated their fate, Aphelios. All right, so I can use either one of these. I think that we just use Bastion. Because then also if they have Mystic Shot, you know, that doesn't work. You can't know, take out the spell shield because it has four health. Slay them all. Unfortunately, I just probably don't get to really Destiny's Call. This could reset my moon weapons here, actually. I guess that's the way to go, it's just overwhelm. I walk through the ages. Yeah, it's just the way to go. I walk through the ages and enter an age of men and gods. This is the ground they die on. It hurts. Let's There we go. Another 16 power Overwhelm Nasus. Just gotta build your own Dehu Ender. And we're 3-0.
action. So action with Frel Yord's got to be Howling Abyss, right? So this has got to be like a Howling Abyss, Siphoning Strike kind of deck. So probably a super cool deck. Again, they probably don't really deal with the Felios that well. Probably. This from beyond. I do not break rules. I bend them slightly. Oh, come now. Okay, perfect start. In and out. I don't have a good play. If I guess from beyond the make make a moon weapon, then play a fellows, we don't Well, yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, nightfall pick a moon weapon and create a hand. I guess we do make a Moon weapon, don't we? As darkness falls, the moon rises. I was thinking, because, you know, like, we'd still have a moon weapon hand that we wouldn't do that, but actually we do. attack for a lot. The old attack for 16. Dealt a lot of damage. Makes life worse. They had another action. That probably makes sense being able to play entreats to make sure to have action every game all the time. Oh, I should I should Bastion first, for Frostbite. Hug it out. Even though it's pretty easy to break up a Bastion in those regions. I love that they're doing all this, obviously. But they're doing all of it to make this uh, this thing that will, you know, give all their champions plus two plus two spell shield. I'm expecting them to play the Howling Abyss now because they've had everything else. I go, I go. We'll turn any man into a monster. So they're definitely passing the turn now, right? Like, if I pass, they pass also with all that different mana. I wanted them to attack in, and I block the the Vagabond, and then I Spirit Fire, but they're just not going to attack in. Oh, 
I guess I still play it anyway instead of passing. Because it just costs so much mana. One mana short from playing both those. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. We love it when they run. All right, so just attack out. Good blocks. It's a trap. Oh dear. Right, right. Now Nasus is getting a little bigger. Ooh. Moonrunner are kind of bigger too. We make this place ready. We enter an age of men and gods. So when vulnerable plus make a merciless hunter. Well, I'm glad that didn't bust up my bastion. Could ride negation that. I don't think they're really going to be playing frostbite. Treasure Seekers keep looking pretty good. It's also a 2 1 I can slay with my Riding Negation to turn Nasus into 10 power. Okay, cool. That will do. And we are 4 and 0. Oh. Alright, well, we are. Actually, 4-0 with our Aphelios Nasus deck, surprisingly enough. So that means we are taking it on over to ranked. Y'all know that's how it goes. If we are 4-0 in normal, we take it on over to a game of ranked for a final test. It's always a really difficult test to pass for these meme tier decks, but here, here we go. We're going to have Lurkers. Okay, we're facing Lurkers. We could maybe do something about Lurkers. I would love to Destiny's Call this Sunforger, but of course we would need to out of the way as well. And that just seems like a whole lot of mana and time whenever they're just going to be killing me with other stuff. Yeah, Aphelios Lifesteal definitely going to be strong. We're also, we also just need bodies to trade, right? It's, it's hard to block and survive against anything in the Lurker deck because they eventually just get, you know, they get lots of power so nothing survives. Nothing survives whenever you block. But you just need to trade. You need to get their their bodies off the board. Yeah, Calibrum's really good here too. Yeah, just, so Aphelios overall should be very good for us. So you'd assume that they put something on top that they want to lurk. And we are making it where they don't get to lurk. Lifesteal just doesn't do anything for us right now. I think it's probably the round to play Merciless Hunter. That's a terrible card to hit. Because this card just doesn't trade. Terrible card to hit. Gonna find a gift for an actin, Bright Arda. We'll get our licks then. Hunt down. Shining 
gifts from the sky. This one, so we take five, then gain five. Could really use that Aphelios. Kind of want to play Nasus. Doesn't exactly help. That's not bad. Maybe we save Hush. Maybe we just go block, block. Moment of truth. Can Big Nasus help us out? Never mind. It cannot. Jawfish. And they so they just had normal jawfish in their deck. Good game, opponent. Good game. Yeah. GG's. An empire fell. Alright, so an empire fell from a by a jawfish. And <laughs> just a little fish. That's a pretty big fish. Pretty big and mean fish. So that was a lot of fun to play. You know, it's something different. Is this going to be a uh, great deck? No. Is it going to be like a deck they're going to rank up a ton with? No. But you're going to win. You're going to win games with this because Aphelios and Nasus are both very powerful and can win games. And it's just something different to do, um, and which is pretty fun. And sometimes you'll have like the game two really showed off everything. Like where you'll have that out of the way game where then you uh you know make your nasus permanent life steal and overwhelm and stuff like that um that's always a lot of fun i do think aphelios is just a really underrated card for the versatility and uh all the, the moon weapon power and everything it's a very good card all right so there we go though that's aphelios nasus cool cool so those of y'all watching later on youtube Hit that like button over there, and as always, feel free to leave those comments. If you got other ideas for meme tier decks for next week, let me know, or anything else. Always love seeing those comments. Um, but that's going to be it for Aphelios Nasus. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.